my Facebook app decided that it wasn't available. Are we on public? Uh-huh. Okay. You're not on your page, honey. It's not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not going to be there. It's fine. I know, but you can't see it. Yes, I can. All right, how do we look? I think everything looks fine. Hey everybody! Hey Duck Boy! Alright guys, we're battling the elements for y'all tonight uh, to bring you the best cooking content on the internet. We got the pop-up tent. Uh, we're battling Facebook issues still. We can't even see out of our my phone that's in this gimbal. It looks like it's stretched. Uh, so we hope the picture looks all right. I say we're looking good. So we'll give it about uh, 30 seconds. I'm just glad to be outside even though it's cold. It gives it a little... I mean, not cold, raining. I can't even think. I'm so tired. It gives it a little atmosphere, you know? Ooh, Emily made the chicken parmesan tonight. Ooh, I how'd mean, it go? Big hit. It was a awesome. big hit at our house too. It was so stinking good. And it's so easy. So easy. We need a dry towel. I mean, that's one that all the kids like. And all the adults, too. All right, we're about to get going. All right, here we go. I've got a dry towel. We're ready. All right, so what are we doing tonight? Um, we are going to do some cedar plank. Barbecued salmon. Uh, we're doing it on the egg. I have uh, some baby broccoli, broccolini. Uh, we're gonna saute that. We've got a fantastic Pinot Noir Rosé from the Stoller family in Oregon, Willamette Valley. Uh, we're gonna sip on that a little bit and it wouldn't be barbecue salmon night in our house if there weren't a small batch of mashed potatoes for Asher. So, uh, let me show you what we've done so far. So, I've got two of these cedar planks here that I had soaked for about an hour. Uh, you'll have to tell me if that's showing up. We can't tell. Um, soaked for about an hour. I've got them on the grill, getting nice and hot. We want to release some of that cedar flavor, some of that smoke. Um, so, you need to really set those in there, you know, get them on, get them rolling. And that's what we've done. You don't want to lay the salmon on cold uh, cedar planks. Uh, but remember to soak them for at least an hour. All right? So what do we have here? We have two really beautiful uh, large salmon fillets. Uh, we got this from Costco. It was one of those gigantic whole sides of salmon, which I like buying it that way. Uh, we have to trim it up a little bit. You'll see that little belly flap things like that. You want to take that off. Um, I'll usually trim down towards the tail, remove some of that where it gets thin. But the nice thing about this is it's kind of like how we've talked about steaks in the past and you slice your steaks to serve them. That way everybody doesn't think they need an entire 16 ounce New York strip. When we go to serve this for the kids tonight, we'll lay it out whole and take a spoon and just let them get chunks of it. And that way they kind of eat what they want instead of putting a whole salmon fillet in front of yeah, them. Some so, of them like the skin and some of them yeah, don't. This, so. is, this is skinless. Uh, so we've got it off. So what I've got in here, so like I said, we're doing barbecue salmon. I've got just a little bit of a basic barbecue seasoning. Go to the grocery store, pick your favorite player in town. They're all there. Um, get their dry rub. Coat your salmon really well. Okay. That's all we got to do at this point. The egg's sitting on about 500. We're going to give it a little burp. All right, and we're going to take these cedar planks, get them over those hot coals, mm -hmm. and we're going to lay this salmon. Sue's chef is rocking up in the house. Who's that? Your sous chef. Who's that? The one behind you. Oh, my one behind me. <laughs> Sit him down right there. All right. 
Got my sous chef bringing me, he's the mashed potato man, so he's already, uh, I got it, go ahead. He's boiled those up for us. We, you, we use a little Yukon gold potatoes. Um, so, we've got our cedar planks that were hot, already scorched, all right? We've got them laying on there, all right? Both sides, we put our barbecue seasoning on them. We're gonna close the lid, okay? I'm gonna move these so I've got some room for our next dish. All right, and that's what we're gonna do, so. Ellie would like for you to say something about our beloved Coach Nix. That's right, uh, good point. Uh, Coach Nix, uh, mostly everyone, everyone on this Facebook, or 90% of you should know, uh, Tom Nix, 93 years old today, passed away this morning. Non-COVID related issues, just uh, oh, he had been sick. Uh, very famous uh, football coach and probably the most infamous and famous PE teacher in the history of Christian Brothers High School. Um, that is Tom Nick Stadium at Christian Brothers High School. That's who's named after it. And he won uh, the one and only state championship in football in Christian Brothers in 1977. Oh, wow. So prayers up to Coach Nix, his family. Everything he did at Christian Brothers, he's, uh, I mean, he is a legend in Christian Brothers High School. So we're thinking about uh, his family. So, um, all right, so I've got my old copper pot out. Okay. Now let's talk about, I've got a little barbecue sauce here. We're going to hit that later. Let's talk about our ingredients that we have next for our broccoli. All right. These are little baby broccoli. Uh, sometimes you find them, sometimes you don't. Uh, in the produce department, they come in little pouches. Now you can see that color on there. I blanched these. I blanched these a little earlier. Okay, what what did I? What does that mean? What did we do? I had a pot of boiling water, a little bit of salt, dropped them down in for about three minutes. All right, and then once they were two or three minutes, I removed them and put them in a little ice cold water, and that's what helped keep this wonderful color. I do that to kind of, those stalks are a little thick, um, so you want to cook it just a little bit so it's not, you know, uh-oh, we got water dripping, everything. For you all, for this, all for y'all folks. Um, so it's not too chewy. Um, along with this, we've got our California extra virgin olive oil. I got a little bit of chopped garlic. I got some fresh lemon, and I got a little crushed red pepper. That's, a, that's what we're going to do tonight. All right? I love broccolini, y'all. It's just like I a, love it. it's a really... I like it better than regular broccoli. I don't know. It's just because it's smaller and softer, and it's just, I don't know. It's To me, it's just, it's yummy, especially yeah. with a little marinara. It is. And we, you know, my mom likes, my mom and dad like it that way. They like to do it and add a little white beans and a little canned tomato in it. I thought I had everything. I didn't. So this is another way that I like to do it, which is quick and simple. So that's what we're going to do. So let's check our uh, check our salmon here. Ooh, and that's already, I don't know if we can see, we can't tell. We're getting some, let's see, we're getting some gorgeous color already on that rub. Looking wonderful. All right. And thank you to Ellen and Frank for picking up the, uh, Larkin's parents for picking up the little cedar planks today Yes, for thank us. you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you so it. much. <clears throat> All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to put our little good old family copper pot on there. We're gonna let that heat up just Old a little Chester. bit. Old Chester copper pot. We're gonna have multiple pans going in this show tonight. Uh, so, I'm gonna get a little bit of my olive oil. And that's the great thing about this dish is, once you have that broccolini prepared, blanched, ready to go, it's about three minutes and it's done. Very quick, all right? It out. I think salmon is my most favorite thing that you make, and also the best piece of of salmon for the price out of any restaurant in the city of Memphis. Absolutely, at, at the restaurant, we sell a lot best of it. salmon. We sell a lot of it, a ton. We'll so, talk more about that in a little in a bit. Yeah. All right. So we've got our pot. That you look. You don't have to use a copper pot. You don't have to use any of that. I got it. I love it. We've talked about it before. It's got even heat. It gets heat quickly. Um, makes it very simple. So, we've added our olive oil. I'm gonna go in with 
what would be about one good uh, one good tablespoon chopped garlic. I'm gonna add in juice of uh, half a lemon here. Whoa. You're not worried about seeds this time? Uh, did we get a seed in there? We I did. don't know. I didn't. I can't see that sometimes far. I'm you know worried I can't about see it. that far. All right, so we got a little flame going on our cedar plank. That'll shut down here in just a second. Let me actually shut that lid, and it'll kill that in just a second. And don't let that freak you out on those cedar planks. That's why you soak them. Um, you know, maybe we end up on fire in this thing or not. But the more heat and air that gets in there, the more those flames build up. So um, we're going to open it back up. So we've got our olive oil. We've got our chopped garlic. There we go. See, and it went down. Just close your lid. It goes down. All right. The the uh, planks remind me like of sitting by a campfire. Oh, it absolutely. So good. All right. We're gonna add in just a little bit of crushed red pepper. All right. What do we say when the smoke's everywhere? I love pink bunny. I rabbits. love pink bunny rabbits. That's supposed to make the smoke get out of your face. Well, that's all. Well, if those of you who don't know Frank Duncan, Frank is a had a uh was a huge hiker and loved to um come up and share his old hiking uh what would you say hiking stories, stories. hiking yeah. traditions trail, with you trail trail, trail magic yeah. whatever um but one of the things that frank used to say when the smoke would start heading towards you um uh, is i love pink bunny rabbits and apparently right. that's supposed to make it go away but it it looks like it's working right now yeah <laughs> he was like that we're talking about right. him so so we love pink bunny rabbits um all right so wine time all right what do we got oh yeah and patrick's saying thanks for the support on the stoller rose hey stoller are we up just a little bit smaller. that way yeah perfect all right and down stoller family estate all right Pinot Noir Rosé, all right? Many of you might ask, is that a red wine grape? Is that a white wine grape? How is it made? Pinot Noir Rosé is made with red wine, Pinot Noir grapes. The juice is extracted without the skin. The skin is a lot of times what gives wines their, their colors, so they extract it, move it away from the skin. You get this beautiful pink color, all right? This is a family vineyard. We are authentically Oregon. I love that it says that on the back. And oh. then uh, our famous Willamette Valley. All right. So thank Is you. Is it Willamette or Willamette? Will, yeah. Willamette, Willamette. We always Robin say that. Robin says it's Willamette. And she's been there. So we got a little yeah. rain water in our wine glass. That's okay. All right. So I'm going to give mom a little sample of this. And look, this should be beautiful with this salmon. A little bit of smokiness uh, from that light bit of barbecue. Uh, it's just too bad that we're having to drink this gorgeous wine uh, under a canopy uh, and not sitting on the beach right now. Oh, yeah, y'all, with some sunshine smell. and a little. All right, uh, where do we get this one? Uh, our buddy at Cheers, I'm sure. Okay, Lynn Any Hayes of, at Cheers. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, under twenty dollars. So this summer, when we get out of this whole deal, and you're looking for a refreshing wine once it gets hot, go check them out. Pinot Noir Rosé, Stoller, Family Estates, Oregon. Okay, so this is pink, but it's not to be confused with the sweet pink of a white Correct. Zinfandel. Correct. It is not. No, it is not. This is this drinks more like a Chardonnay, yeah. like a sweet a or Sauvignon lighter. Blanc, yeah. or whatever. Um, All right. So let me show you. Uh, Beth Rixey says it's pronounced "damn it." <laughs> damn it. Now, let I me love show y'all this. That is hilarious. Like I said, once again, Kat, tell me when we're good. Oh, well, you know, I'm doing my best, but yeah, it looks good. Fantastic. Got a beautiful broccoli robs in there. We're getting some great saute on them, a little bit of chili flake. Those are lovely. And then let's look at our salmon here. Beautiful color. I'll give it to you from the side. It is picking up go. all that smokiness. All right. So now's the time before our cedar planks catch on fire again. We're going to come back in with a little bit. This is where we finish it off. Whatever, barbecue sauce of your choice. The kids love this recipe. All right? Smear just a little bit of barbecue sauce on there. Man, this, this grill is a smoking. 
Tish, Tish lost track of time. She was cooking some Italian spinach. Oh, uh, well, that's oh, well, nice. We definitely disappointed Tish the other night. Yeah, I'm we sure had a few. We had to take I, a couple of days off. And I'm sorry if any of any of uh, you were also disappointed, but um, we had some technical difficulties with the camera. And, uh, we still do. Really? At the end of the day, we're having a really hard time coming up with, like, what would be interesting to cook. Yeah. Uh, because, like, if you think about the chefs on the Food Network, I mean, they have a whole season of planning, mm -hmm. and they're doing 10 shows over a 10-week period. Right. We're doing 20-something shows We, we did a day. lot in a row. So, uh, And we're going to keep on going, but we also did just need a little bit of a personal break to cook with the kids and have a little fun and sit with our Corona neighbors. And uh, we did a brisket yesterday. I think there's a picture on our Instagram mm -hmm. page of Cooking with Larkin, a beautiful brisket. And, and thanks for all the followers that we're getting on that. I mean... We're up to like almost 175 followers yeah. on the Instagram. We're going to keep posting on it and having a good time. So, all right, last thing. We've got our Yukon Gold potatoes here. Bring them a little closer to the camera. There you go. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to get just a light little mash. Ooh, Asher cooked those good. Light little mash on there. Y'all have all seen this, but... Too many times I think we don't do enough mashed potatoes. So we're going to add in a good little knob there, two knobs of butter. We're going to put just a little bit of milk in there. All right. And now I'm going to set this on this egg. Oh, Ann's calling for lamb next. Well, I've been uh, saying short ribs, Ann. Well, and I, I will tell you, my dad wants me to do that too. I, I think we are going to do that. I think we are going to do some lamb. I'm going to take these off, guys. Mm. Those look absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to keep that broccoli rob going. We're going to heat our potatoes up. Get my little serving tray. Oh, good. We're getting some really great suggestions. All right, let's hear them. Okay, we got another one for, well, Ann says, our famous bacon wrap blue cheese stuffed beef tenderloin from the college days. Yes, mm -hmm. we could actually cook back then, too. Yeah. I know you could. I yep. know you and Larkin could, and probably Kimberly, too. Yep. Uh, Lisa Tommy, Ward says she wants to see some meat and veggies on skewers. I would love Oh, yeah, it. some skewers would be fun. Have we done uh, chicken kebabs yet? I uh, cannot remember. And guys, Emily and Lynn, I know I would love to see Lamb also because I have not seen him do that in person, and I really do enjoy it. I think Lamb. I think Lamb might be one of our next things that we do. Like tomorrow? Possibly, well, if I, I mean, can. Where do you get that? that you can get it from Costco. All right, so we've got our serving platter here. We're just going to take this whole piece of salmon there. We're going to lay it off. Anybody want that little chunk? It's gonna be hot, baby. It'll be a little hot. It's all right. Here, I'll set it down there. All right, we're gonna take a little cedar plant number two. Ellie has the mint jelly for the lamb. Oh yeah. So the skin's coming off on those. Well, there, there's no, there's no skin. Oh, I thought you. No. Oh, there we go. There's me not paying attention. Yeah, you can have whatever one you want. So we left those whole. Okay, and you can see how it was flaking. It's ready to go. All right, beautifully cooked. Ooh. Not overdone. Oh, and Annie has a lot of fresh mint in her garden. Y'all, I cannot wait. I am going to start my own garden again. I haven't done it in several years, and um, I'm getting a raised garden because of the dogs. Yes. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, having Lots of fruits and vegetables that we can put in the show Feature. for you. Yeah. So there's our gorgeous mm. broccolini. All right. You can see that. You can see, Cat, we good? Yeah. See the salmon? See that? It's nice. I mean, I love the color on that can you broccolini. Try to bring, it, bring it and go down a little bit. Yeah. Let's try that. That's good. There we go. Beautiful salmon, broccolini. All right. We've got uh, Asher's mashed potatoes here. That, that milk is boiling away. So we had some Yukon Gold potatoes. Asher boiled up. He cut them, drained them, brought them out to me. We got a little butter. We're going to hit them with some salt. Hit them with a little pepper. It smells really yummy, y'all. And 
And we're going to have some gorgeous. Uh oh, who picked the camera? I'm not picking. It's all right. Creamy. It's okay, babe. Creamy mashed potatoes. Ooh, look at that. Thank Steam you, Asher. coming off. A chef in the making right here, guys. All right, this is Asher's favorite meal. This one's for him. What's your favorite meal, babe? <laughs> mashed potatoes. And plain buttered. Noodles. Yeah. Among Fish. many other things with them, yes. Yeah. So there's our meal for the night. Uh, I was debating earlier, do we go inside? I wouldn't try to do that. Do we Why? go? Because it's you're not going to be able to see. Yes, I can. Okay. I'm going to do my best. All right. So, so you, we're going, I, and of course, I can't remember. We can't see. Yeah, there you go. can go. All Let's right. Let's talk so, about what's well, it's exciting at the restaurant. Yeah. That's what we got to do now. So we'll go over our menu and then we'll talk salmon, broccolini, Asher's mashed potatoes, beautiful Pinot Noir rosé, Oregon Stoller family. Go check it out. Go to your local store. Mm -hmm. And uh, once again, thanks for following us on all the social medias. Keep it going. Um, and then last thing, uh, we are very excited. You know, we kind of took the Corona deal pretty serious. Um, no, you know, when we decided to shut down for two weeks, protect the employees, protect ourselves, uh, never would we have thought it'd go five, almost six weeks. Um, but we've been working really hard and starting Monday night, starting next week, uh, we will go Monday through Saturday. We will be open from 4 to 7.30 for curbside pickups. We got all the procedures in place and everything. I'll um, make sure we get a menu posted. Yeah, we'll we're going to do a limited menu. Yeah, we've got a limited menu we created today. We'll get it up on all the social sites starting at noon every day. You can call. There's someone there. Place your order for that night. We'll have staff there ready to go. Get it to you safe and uh, get some good old Frank Rosani's food back in your belly. Uh, we look forward to working, too. So... But we're not going to stop doing this. We're going to keep having fun. Thanks for following us. Have a beautiful night. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, everybody. Cheers.